Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen ben Danun. You're watching Israeli News Live, a production of IsraelReturns.com. And uh, we have reported here on uh, International Business Times, an article that came out today on May 19th, 2014, Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Officials claim Pope Francis visit signed Vatican opposes occupation. Uh, gosh, I hate that expression there. You know, if there's ever been a land that was under occupation, it's been Israel for the last 2,000 years. It's been occupied by every imaginable peoples there are, the Romans, the, uh, the Turks, the British, uh, the Palestinians, uh, whatever you want to have. We've been under occupation the longest, uh, and yet the PA claims that they've been under occupation longer. The article states that Palestinian Authority PA officials are heralding Pope Francis' visit to Bethlehem as a political message to recognize Palestine and oppose the Israeli occupation. The pontiff is set to travel in an open-top car through Bethlehem before meeting President Mahmoud Abbas holding a mass prayer service in the Palestinian town instead of Jerusalem. Uh, he has taken a helicopter directly from Jordan to Palestine. <laughs> I hate to even hear that word. To Bethlehem. It's a kind of sign of recognizing Palestine. Father Jamal Qadar uh, of the Latin uh, uh, Partrashet in Jerusalem said, knowing who he is and his sensitivity for all those who suffer, I am sure that he will say something defending all those who are suffering, including the Palestinians who live under occupation. Qadar continued, after visiting Bethlehem, the Pope is set to meet Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at the Notre Dame complex located between Jewish and Arab populations in Jerusalem. Yet it is his visit to, the Pal to Palestine that is garnering most of the attention from officials on both sides of the divide. Um, this visit, uh, in pr brackets here, to Palestine will help us in supporting our struggle to end the longest occupation in history said Abbas, advisors for the Christian affairs of Ziad Badakh. Um, uh, Bendak said that Francis will have a lunch with the Palestinians with families suffering from the occupation. Then he will visit uh, the Dahais uh, refugee camp to witness the suffering of the Palestinian refugees. I'm sure they're going to escalate that situation as well. He continued by saying that the Israeli officials are not happy that the Pope will begin his visit in Palestine and not Israel, interpreting the decision to be a slight against the Jewish homeland. About time they said the Jewish homeland. I like that. Uh, we will welcome, welcome the visit uh, and consider it as a support for the Palestinian people and confirmation from the Vatican of the need to end occupation, the PA advisor concluded. The PA's claims of the Political message being delivered by the Pope has been supported by the reporters earlier this year when Rabbi Sergio Bergman, a close friend of the pontiff and member of the Argentinian parliament, said that Francis wishes to style himself as the uh, Guevara of the Palestinians. What a shame, what a shame. Anyway, though, I did post a comment uh, in fact, I seem to be the only comment on here, and I said here uh, in response to this article, Palestinians are duped into believing that the Pope really cares. Sadly, he is using the Palestinians as a tool. Just read Daniel chapter 11. The false prince, Pope of Rome, will come up strong with a small people. Also, I uh, quoted Ezekiel chapter 35 reveals that he intends to take both nations. So who is the fool? <laughs> Uh, I can only imagine. Anyway, uh, uh, so many things. Uh, and to, to top matters off, we also have, uh, in breaking Israeli news, um, we have an article by them that says, Hamas, the new government, must include Islamic Jihad. Uh, they reported the Gaza-based Hamas terrorist group is taking steps to integrate other terrorist organizations into the upcoming Palestinian unity government with the Fatah-led Palestinian Liberation Organization, or the PLO. Uh, speaking on Friday in Gaza's al Ask, Hamas leader uh, uh, Ismail Haniyeh 
announced that it would help integrate the Islamic Jihad terrorist group into the new government in the upcoming days. Leaders from Hamas and the PLO will meet in Cairo roughly one month after announcing the new United Palestinian government. And we just it gets worse by the day. But you know what? We have uh, one thing we can look forward to, and that is as these things begin to happen, our redemption draws nigh. Uh, Yeshua is on the doorsteps of rescuing the Jewish people from all this chaos and nonsense. Anyway, uh, I'm Stephen Bendenun with Israeli News Live. I hope that you come back and pick up uh, our teaching that will be coming out tonight on Danoon Institute of Biblical Research here on Stephen Ben Danoon, uh, Stephen ben Danoon uh, our YouTube channel here. A new thing the Lord revealed to me today, I'm going to be sharing, and I decided to do like a little collection of those together, some insights into the identity of the Messiah, why Yeshua, Jesus, did the things that He did. It's amazing. And I think you'll be blessed by it. So I hope you catch it. It'll be coming up next right after the news broadcast here. Baruch Hashem. Blessed is the coming, the coming of Moshiach. And of course, Betach. Mi, uh, mi yodea, mi hu. We know who uh, is Moshiach, Yeshua. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. God bless you and good night.